All right, this is a question 3B from the CSEC Mathematics January 2024 paper. The Jamaican Patois. All right, so here now. What do you do? <clears throat> the diagram below shows an equilateral triangle. FGH, whose base is 13 centimeter. Height H, calculate the value of H. Now, what are you going to do this thing? Uh, remember, say, so, you know, you must just sit down and watch the whole video. You, know? you must try the questions before you watch the videos, right? So, we see how this thing is going. It's a 13. So, from here, so all the way to here, so a 13. That means, say, uh, we see, see, uh, see something. If you should have drawn about the triangle, like so. And this, say this is a 13. Half a 13, how much? Six and a half. 6.5. So this is 6.5, you know. And this would have been 90 degrees. Now they say an equilateral triangle. Now you see the line, you saw, you saw, you, saw, you, saw, you know, it's an equilateral triangle, right? This angle hour. You must remember the angles in a equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. And since you cut this in a half, this is a 30. But then you see they want again H. Right? So you can say this is a H. Right? You have the 60. You have this 60, right? Or so this is what our opposite are adjacent. This don't tell me no adjacent, you know. Opposite this angle depend the right hand side of the triangle, this side depend the left, left and right are opposite. So these are the opposite, and this 6.5 are the adjacent you drawn alongside. The angle, you notice, the opposite. Now come nowhere near the angle, you know. We have this adjacent brush there against the side of the angle. This are the hypotenuse, but the hypotenuse adjacent to the angle, too, you know, because it brush right alongside the angle. Alright, you see that? So, you're going to say, tan of 60 equal opposite, at a h, over adjacent, 6.5. Alright. So I gotta show where this comes from. So when you transpose H equal six point five times tan sixty equal what? We reach for a calculator. Alright, so what we have now? This is from some work made that though. Earlier. Make sure you calculate in a degree mode. Right? Degrees. A degree mode. So. 6.5 multiplied by the tangent of 60 equal 11.5. Roll it off to 26. Alright, call it 11.258. So 11.258 degrees. Or they then not say if you write it in any to any particular significant figure or decimal place. Right? They don't say how accurate you must roll it off. But here, angle, the, the height, I mean. No, not degree. It's where we get degree from. Uh, centimeter. Centimeter. Right. 11.258 centimeter. You can write it as 11.3 if you want. They never say to how many significant figure or to how many decimal places. Right? It's a little over 11 centimeters. Question 3C now. From the C set maths, January 2020. 
24. January 2024. Paper. Alright. The diagram below shows three triangles. P, Q and R. P, Q and R. Triangles Q and R are images of triangle P. After it undergoes a double transformation. Alright. So, you go from P to Q to R. Alright. Describe fully a sing the single transformation that mapped triangle P onto R. Let me just copy this and put it over here. So, we want what happened to P. Make it turn in a R. P to R. No. Suppose you imagine, say, you have this triangle. Right? Let me take this out of the way, you know. And you have this. This is the triangle. If you take the triangle, notice the triangle are same orientation, you know, flip, you know, turn around, you know, spin or nothing. If you go one, two, three, four up, then one, two to the right. You have R. You see it? One, two, three, four up, one, two to the right. You match with R. So, you go four up and two right. What kind of transformation that is a slide or what they call translation in the form x y. So you the right say is a translation T R A N S L A T I O N that takes the form. Now remember, x move left and right. X move left is negative. X move right is positive. It move right, so a positive. How much you move? Two. Why move up and down? If you go up a positive, you go down a negative. But P would have to go up. Right? If we move um, to R. So, why a 4, positive 4? So, it's a translation of the form to 4. Right? 2 in the x direction, 4 in the y direction. You can write all of that if you want to fill out all of the space. But, is a translation of the form 2, 4. That means P go to R. You see that? After that, them say R to Q. How R go to Q now? Interesting. I want to see how R go to Q. Let me make a copy of it. And put it over here so. So the question is, how are end up on Q? Alright. You have R. If you translate it, you see that the orientation change. It spin round. Right? Wait have you do now. You can say the distance between R and Q to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So if you go 1, 2, 3, and you come right here, so. My, my, all this here, so. If you end up with this line right here, so. You can see that 
if you make one flip three to the left and with this one flip three to the right it's like a mirror it's a mirror it's a reflection right if you go one two one two one two one two is really a mirror if you take the line which line is x equal one this line is the line x equal one if you take that and reflect r over it you get q right once you use the imagination and see this is so you get q so it is a reflection of r in the line x equal 1 give you a q right reflection in line x equal 1 give you a q so that is really what happened so you get q total 9 marks so question 3 done next time we move to question 4 I want you to work out question 4 from now right it's function. Question 4. Deal with functions.